My Bride, Kiss the Word, Reverend Dr. Holly Namokyun, United Methodist Church, Translator, Mrs. Irene Park, Reader, Mr. Jacob Lee. The Lord always gives me a revelation through a dream before every meeting and gives a message which he wants to convey. Today is the day we have a band class, and the Lord did not fail to give me the message through a dream. This is the story of the dream. Two people were in love, but they had to be apart for a while in order to prepare for the college entrance examinations. The boyfriend studied diligently and came to visit his sweetheart and kissed her. Then his sweetheart showed her pale face with acne. Even their kiss was quite dry. The girlfriend's face was damaged, exhausted, and impoverished. He asked her what happened. I am exhausted from waiting. I cannot live without you. I cannot do anything because I am lost in sadness without you. I could not even study and no longer have the joy and motivation to live. And the dream came to an end. The Lord said, all your band members are impoverished. Give them comfort and joy. The majority of them just wait for the bridegroom and cannot do anything. Even though waiting is important, being immersed to the point of missing present life is not desirable. They are unhappy every day just because they cannot meet me. Being bound to such belief is the work of Satan. Waiting is made possible through the relationship of trust. It is happiness and it makes life more abundant. It does not mean to just wait and do nothing. True love transcends time and space and makes the couple's life more abundant. Then how can I transmit joy to them? Tell them not to focus on the one which they do not have, but instead turn their attention to the 9,999 which they do have. If they do not see 9,999 which they have, and only focus on the one they do not have, what kind of life would they have? I will definitely come someday, and in the meantime, the bride ought to enjoy her own happiness. Whether the bridegroom comes or not, the bride has to be healthy and fruitful. Since Eve had her eyes on the tree of knowledge of good and evil instead of the tree of life, she ended up as a victim of Satan. It is important what you are looking at, and that ought to be the tree of life. Adam and Eve were looking at the tree of knowledge of good and evil, and the result was spiritual anemia and spiritual impoverishment. You can eat the fruit of the tree of life any time and as much as you want, but you do not eat what you can and only look at the fruit which you cannot eat. As a result, you do not have any joy nor thankful heart. Look around yourself. You have become desolate and deserted because you did not see 9,999 things to be thankful for and focus on the one which you do not have. Deliverance ministry for those members would only make them more exhausted. If such members receive power, they will stagger even more. Feed them the word. Let them kiss the word. I am the bread of life, the living bread from heaven. If you eat this bread, you will obtain the strength to wait and your daily life will become abundant. As they have lived well in the wilderness for 40 years, eating manna from heaven. What you need now is the bread of life. Kissing this bread of life is the same as kissing me. The bridegroom is near you. The Bible which you hold in your hand is myself. I thought about the pastor seminar in Argentina a long time ago. 
I was sitting by a lake after the seminar was over, and I saw a vision of Jesus on the cross. Jesus had only bones. I was startled and asked, Lord, what happened? Why do you not have any flesh and only the bones remain? Jesus answered, I broke off the pieces to feed the ministers, didn't I? The word they ate is my body and flesh. Ah, uh, whenever we feed the word, your body is broken off like that. It was truly an amazing vision. The Lord kept giving more prescriptions three times a day before each meal, one chapter of the Bible, one hymn and prayer. Do not let them eat before they follow that. Before supplying the nutrition for the body, they must eat the food to revive the spirit. Make each mealtime into a family worship. It will be even better if they could observe the communion as well. He said eating the word of God is the same as kissing him. He continued, the present time is similar to the generation of, of what Mark experienced. More tough world will be opened up eventually, but it is not yet the time for the destruction of the evil spirits. They will become even more abusive and cause the bride to wait longer to the point of exhaustion and finally tempt the bride. Therefore, stay close to the word. Hold on to the word. Kiss the word. The word is me, and I am the bread of life from heaven. They survived for 40 years in the wilderness because I provided them manna. Manna from heaven is not limited to the wilderness period. I give daily supply of manna for your wilderness-like life. Manna decays after one day. Fill your daily food physically as well as spiritually. Remember Bartimaeus? He was a beggar from birth. He lived as a beggar panhandling. He fed on what other people gave him. But the moment he met Jesus, he threw off his outer garment and ran to Jesus and implored that he wants to see. He who used to ask for food from people. Now he is asking something more fundamental to the Lord. He threw off his cloak, which symbolized a beggar, and now he is running, calling out the Messiah. This is crucial. His life was transformed from a beggar to a disciple, and he served me. Likewise, all of you must discard the beggar like religious life and kiss my word. I, who raised up a beggar of 38 years, proclaim that you stand up from the religious life of begging and depending on others. Unless you find the food and eat for yourself, I cannot help you either. I still remember the woman in that dream clearly. Even though her boyfriend came to see her, she was not excited to see him as she used to be, and she hardly had any energy left to be joyful. Because she had been obsessed with waiting and neglected her life such as eating and livelihood. You can be happy when you are healthy. In her exhausted state, would it be possible for her to feel any joy? If you just focus on one thing without eating, you do not realize that is the sure way to death. What our bridegroom, who sacrificed on the cross to give us the way to life, abundance and richness, wants from us is that we enjoy those blessings until his return and meet him with great joy. If you can change your view just a little bit, you will find 9,999 scenes of blessings. The bride, who refuses to eat to the point of ex exhaustion and focuses on what is not there, will surely give pain to the bridegroom. My bride, 
kiss my word and stand up and let us go together. This is the message to all of us from the Lord, our bridegroom. I came with this message today in a hurry because the Lord told me to tell you immediately. You can order these three books from Amazon Kindle. 365 Prayers of Blessing for Your Children. Theory and Praxis of Land Work. The Lord's Visitation for 14 Days. My Beloved Bride, Heal as I Reveal. This video is made by Reverend Dr. Holly Namo Yun Lee, who is a minister of the United Methodist Church. She got a degree of Doctor of Ministry at Claremont Theological Seminary in California. She is an executive director of Menowa Ministry. She carries a healing ministry. She is an author of 40 books and led 1,000 revival services and over 200 seminars for ministers. Now, she lives in California with her husband, Reverend Peter Yongtek Lee. She is the fourth daughter of Dr. Sung Bum Yun, former president of Methodist Theological University in Seoul, Korea. In Hebrew, Menua is an adjective that describes being restful. We use the term Menua as a noun. Please hit the subscribe button for Yunnamok TV, News from Heaven. Thank you for watching this video.